This is Rec Room Studio, which is a tool that allows me to do pretty much anything I want. Like this. And an interesting fact about Rec Room Studio is that there is no ink limit, meaning I can spawn anything I want, however many times I want. And normally, if I were to spawn two mirrors in the game, it won't let me. But with Rec Room Studio, the ink isn't gonna stop me. Which is exactly why earlier today I made a community post asking for your suggestions on what I should do with this new power. So let's get into the madness. Make a box out of mirrors. How convenient. This is already getting pretty bad. Alright, last mirror. Scale it up a bit. And see how it looks. Oh. <laughs> My god! Whoa. <laughs> you can't even see anything. That is trippy. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Alright, that's done. Let's see what's next. Remake every RRO. Make a hyper-realistic chicken. Chicken! Didn't mention it had to be alive. This joke took 30 minutes. Many, many people were asking for holotards or clones of myself. And the reason I'm already kind of lagging is because... I already did it. And this button is the button that turns them all on. Three, two, one. <laughs> oh, I should have hit the projector. Look at that. Just a bunch of hats. Oh, God. This looks like a backrooms level. This is the ink, by the way, currently. All right. Now you might think they're all gone, right? Well, <laughs> I added a bunch more and now they should be hidden. All right. Let's wire them up. Oh, wait. That's already wired. Oh, God. What is happening? Oh no! What is happening? While Future Beta Bear works on a fix for that, spawn the most amount of buckets you can before you crash. I'm also gonna add a frame rate counter right here so you can see how laggy it gets. Alright, let's step that up to 50. Oh, oh my, oh, they merge together. Is that 50 or 100? I can't even tell. My frame rate is completely fine though. That one just. Hey, come back! No! Just drop them off one by one. 50 wasn't enough. Let's go for 100. All right, 100 is loading. Oh, it's not that bad. I'm actually doing really well. I feel like we all want to see this happen, though. All right, it should work this time. Let's see. Oh. All right, let's click it. Oh my god. Oh yeah, and I also made them all face me. Look at that one in the corner. Oh wait, oh there's so many that they didn't even load. Look, it's just a floating face. <laughs> oh yeah, this is scary. This is jumping straight up to a thousand. All right, I just enabled a thousand. Let's see how it is. Oh my God. My frames. How many frames is this? All right, now for the almighty question. What will happen if I delete the floor? Oh, look at that. That's actually kind of cool. I'm going to destroy it and then delete the floor. Let's see what happens. I scale up and just... <gasps> oh, God. <gasps> and at two frames per second, delete. Spawn a million paint mines. No, 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 no! 400 paint mines. Here we go. All right, same thing, but with 150. Let's go. Oh, that was almost instantaneous. This video was made with an early access beta version of Rec Room Studio, and the tools you saw used here will probably change in the future. Oh, and there is actually a limit to how many things you can spawn. It's just it's way higher than the normal 100% ink limit. If you've watched this video until now, please comment, wow, Beta Bear, this video is awesome and I love it so much. Please make more. If you want a part two, comment your suggestions on what I should do next. Subscribe for the love of God, and I'll see you next time. Oh God.